Hey, Steve. Holy shit. Let's just have a civil conversation so I don't have to pull out my gun, okay? Sounds good. Because I'll do it, and you know that, right? I'm saying some pretty awful things about you, Shane. Yeah, well, I did some pretty awful shit, Steve. I need you to deliver a message to Claudette for me. That woman at Mars shot it was in self-defense. Yeah, well, that woman died. They were trying to kick the shit out of me. Okay, Mara was defending me. Those guys are saying that you tried to roll them. I'm just trying to be truthful. I don't give a shit what they said. I don't give a shit what they said, Steve. Okay? Mara's not a criminal. If you were committing a crime, Mara can't claim self defense. Look, I'm not asking for your legal opinion, Steve. Just deliver the message. Mara was acting in self defense. And she hasn't wanted to do any of this shit. She only did it because she didn't have a choice. She was scared of me. She was scared for her life. And she did what I made her do. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a lawyer. You tell Claudette if she wants me to turn myself in today, I testify to everything that she needs to put Vic and Ronnie in prison forever and a day. All she has to do is call that guy and guarantee that Mara does not do any time. Now I'll check in with him in four hours. And as soon as I get the word that Mara's clear of any and all charges, I'll walk into the barn myself. How'd he seem? Calmer than I'd be. But worried. He just wants to protect Mara. Thanks for bringing this to us right away. Of course. Ah. You okay? Shane doesn't know Vic beat him to a deal. Yeah, he's got nothing valuable to give us. At least not to trade for kicking down his wife's murder charge. So how do we get him to come in anyway? 